Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you're watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So today we will be taking a look at this very popular deck, The Lysier's Tarot by Chris Ann. So I think by now everyone has actually seen this deck, but I will still be creating a flip through uh, of my deck. So this is the size of the box, which is great to see. And inside, it comes with this really nice guidebook, which also shows you like the light seer and the shadow seer, or the shadow meaning of the cards. And these are the backs. Oh, this is the inside of the box. The backs of the cards, which are fully reversible. I have edged my copy in this green that kind of matches the, the box. Yeah. And I will just zoom in and show you all of the cards. So like I've said before, I'm pretty sure you've seen this deck and there have, I don't know, maybe thousands of flip throughs about this. But you see, now uh, the process that I do when I'm bonding with my decks is I go record this flip throughs and then I rewatch them. Uh, I don't know, it's like just listening to myself or watching watching me go through the cards one by one, it it kinda I don't know, it kind of gives me a different perspective. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it does to me. So even though there are a lot of flip through videos of this deck already, I'm still creating one. And I mean, honestly, this is one of the most beautifully illustrated decks that I've seen. So, you know, watching another flip through of this beautiful deck isn't such a bad thing. I mean, look at this moon card, right? Now, as beautiful as this art is, it's actually not entirely my style. But I can appreciate it even if it's not something that I would usually be drawn to because it's like, uh, like it has this, I don't know, bohemian feel. I don't know if that's the correct term, or boho feel. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. It's very colorful, the art in this deck. is well thought of and well executed. That being said, uh, I don't know, but I can't seem to connect too much to decks created by Chris Ann. And that's no, uh, you know, definitely I appreciate the effort that she made in this deck and i am very very much amazed at you know what she has done but as much as i like the art here you know even if it's not my style this deck isn't something that i pick up often which is strange because this is a favorite of so many tarot readers and i don't know if it's because i'm still a beginner and honestly, this fully illustrated deck should make it easier for me to connect and to read the tarot. But for some reason, I'm not, you know, this isn't one of my go-to decks at this point. And I also got the Muse Tarot, but I completely... <laughs> completely did not connect with that deck at all and I already rehomed it. I didn't even get a chance to do a flip through. 
But I mean, come on, look at this. It's stunning. So I guess that goes to show that, you know, even if a deck is like, oh, this, this card. One of my favorites. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, um, even if a deck is so beautifully produced, the art is beautiful, it might not necessarily connect with you as a reader. At least that's how I feel about this deck. I will definitely still keep this deck in my collection because, you know, in the few times that I did use it for readings, it does give me clear readings. It's just a you know, it's not something I would gravitate towards or use more often. But the art is just, you know, something that I would love to look at. Maybe not to read, to read with, but, but definitely some of the, especially some of the cards here, like the Eight of Swords, it's something that I can just display and be reminded of whenever I need that kind of reminder in my life. Okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen, and the King. So I zoomed out a bit, and as usual, I will show you how this shuffles, and then we'll pick a card, and in the dice box. So, oh, the, the card stuff is matte and it's thick. It's a thick deck. Uh, when I first got this, the card stock was really stiff. Uh, but I have used this for a while and I guess I kind of broke it in because it shuffles so much easier now. And also, overhand shuffling is easy. Oops. I think maybe we could read for that. It is the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups. And you have here, you have the Light Seer and the Shadow Seer meaning. So you can pause here and read that. And then I'll read through some parts of the guidebook. There is serendipity and magic here, like the first breath of love or a very first kiss. Anything is possible at this time. Be open to wildly wonderful miracles. This is the When Pigs Fly card and holding it in your hands is a sign that unforeseen yet fortuitous events are coming your way. Bring childlike enthusiasm to the unknown and welcome any unexpected twists on your journey. Be open to inspiration from the strangest of places and pay attention to the intuitive musings that arrive. They will grow your creativity wings. As you enjoy this time of strangely unique thinking, ensure that you are not being overly sensitive or blocking your own flow because you are trying to control the process. Allow your emotions to follow the breadcrumbs of joy. Play a little more. Do something silly. Stay curious about any feelings of wonder and awe and allow your sensitive dreamer to dream. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and then you also have an affirmation here that says, the world is my flourishing oyster and I am excited to see what happens next, which I think embodies the energy of the Page of Cups really well. So the book is quite good. Uh, again, this is a lovely deck. I'll show you the cards again. And... I think I should read with it more. You know, I have a lot of decks and maybe this is one of those decks that doesn't like being kept. So I have to I have to use it a bit more so that I can connect with it more. Oh, I should do a deck interview maybe. But But you know, every time I look at it, it's like this is beautiful. Why am I not using it more? So yeah. <laughs> So this is The Lights Here Tarot by Chris Ann. So I hope, oh, it's a beautiful card, the sun card. I hope you like that quick flip through my musings about this deck. 
and if you like this content please consider liking and subscribing to my channel i would really appreciate it and i will see you again next time bye